Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, uh, what I want to talk to you about is how to grow bromeliads. Now, um, bromeliads are a very interesting and a very unique plant, and uh, they actually have a little reservoir in the center of the plant that holds water. And you want to make sure that you keep that nice and full. That helps to keep humidity up around the plant. And um, you do want to change that water once a week. Now, um, you want to be careful with what kind of water you're using. They do not like water from water softeners. So um, I recommend like a reverse osmosis or uh, maybe rainwater or um, something along those lines. If you have chlorine in your water, go ahead and let the water sit out for 24 hours to let the chlorine dissipate out of it. And um, your bromeliads will like it. Now, um, these do like a bright light type setting, so um, if you have like a window that gets really bright light coming in through it, they're going to be happy there, um, especially if you have like the variegated foliage, because some of these have beautiful variegated foliage. Um, I've never had one like that, but I've seen them, and they are just beautiful. Um, now, to, pro to propagate a bromeliad, bromeliads do produce what they call pups. And you'll see on your bromeliads, like around the bases, they're going to start growing new plants out. And when the plants get large enough, um, and they have the centers, also known as an urn on them, open, you want to go ahead and start filling those with water as well. And they'll bloom for you. Now, the initial bloom in the center of your bromeliad, when that is gone, that plant will not bloom again, but all the pups around it will bloom, and you can divide the pups off into their own separate containers, and uh, they will grow and bloom for you. Now, uh, most of your bromeliads, uh, they do recommend you transplant them using a fir grade bark. Now, um, these particular ones that I have in this video here, when I bought them, they were growing in a potting mix medium and um, they grew just fine for me and um, I never had any issues with any pests with uh, bromeliads. The only issue that I had was our water softener wasn't working properly and it was leaching the salt through and the salt actually ate through the, um, the leaves and the crown of the bromeliad and it caused it to rot. Um, that was an issue that I had but that was due to the water. But other than that, um, to me, they're a very low-maintenance plant. Uh, you do want to keep the soil moist, but not soggy. Um, a very light fertilizer, they don't need too much food. So um, a very light, balanced fertilizer would work very well for them. Again, always make sure that your soil is moist before you feed them. Now, um, bromeliads, depending on uh, what type of bloom they have, they can get top heavy and they can uh, fall over. That's why these have terracotta containers. So um, it gives a little bit more weight, makes it um, helps hold the plant up from falling over. Plastic containers can be lightweight, so the plants can tend to kind of flop over. So um, that is one thing you want to uh, watch out for. Now, um, Bromeliads can help to clean the air inside your homes, and um, they're a beautiful plant. It's a plant I really like. There's multiple and many different forms of bromeliads out there. Um, these are just some that I had, and uh, I thought, you know, I'll show you as I was going back through pictures, and I found these. I thought maybe you would like to know how to uh, grow bromeliads. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tie up what new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.